Hello, I've just been doing a little bit of uh, spot welding for lithium ion cells like my idols on YouTube like Sir Matthew and Sir Nicola have been doing recently. Thought I might give it a go myself. Um, I'm mainly, mainly making this video to draw your attention to the link in the description to another video where I got this idea from because the guy in that video explains everything quite nicely. I'm not going to really explain too much here, but I just thought you might be interested to see another slight variation on his idea how I've set this up and the results that I got. Um, so this is the only, this is all I wanted to do, just this little bit here. So if I was doing more, I'd probably want something a little bit better, a little bit more uh, user friendly, but the result has turned out okay. Unfortunately, the number of welds I've done here is about as much as it took for me to get the hang of doing it. So just as I got good at it, I didn't have any more to do. But anyway, I think it'll be perfectly functional. Um, so if you watch his video, you'll see he's used wires instead of these large copper pipes. But um, when I went to the hardware store, I couldn't find any flat copper strip like he's used to connect his battery and solenoid and stuff. But I figured I'd just hammer the ends of the pipes flat and drill some holes like that. And it worked quite nicely. So you'll need a, a big car battery or a motorbike battery or something. Um, and then you have a solenoid here. So this is what would connect to your start a motor in your car to, to start the engine and there's a couple of wires on here and you just need to put about uh, 9 to 12 volts on there and that will close the connection between these two points so the current can then come down here come through here onto these copper nails and there's a little bit of FR4 stuck between them like that so that they don't touch at the top uh, and then this piece just goes straight onto the negative terminal of the battery. So originally I had it set up like he has in his video and I was using this same battery to to close the solenoid as would be the case in your car when you turn the key that's how everything works so it's supposed to work like that but if you've ever had a flat battery in your car you'll find that it doesn't start and you'll hear as I heard when I was trying this with my crappy battery which is near the end of its life you'll hear a sort of a ticking noise very quickly, it'll go prr, prr, like that. And the problem that I was having was that when you close the solenoid to uh, close this connection, all of the current, or a lot of the current, will now be drawn through here and through the thing that you're welding. And suddenly there's not enough current coming through the solenoid to keep this connection closed, so it will open. And then as soon as it's open, it's able to uh, because there's no current coming down here anymore, the solenoid can close again. So it's opening and closing very, very quickly. And um, yeah, it just doesn't work. So to get around that, what I've been doing is I use this separate power supply, um, which is also current limited, which is kind of handy. And I put that on, I think it's on 11 volts or something. Just turn that on. Uh, so the positive of that is going to here, this terminal. Now previously that positive was going directly to, to here on the positive there. Uh, and yeah, that, that's how he guy had it in the video. And I'm sure if you had a car battery that wasn't so completely useless as this one, you could do it that way. Uh, and then over here I have the negative terminal of that. And for my switch, I just have a bare piece of wire. And I tap that onto here. and you can hear the solenoid click and closed. So when I tap that on there, there'll now be the battery voltage across these two copper nails there. Um, so yeah, like I say, uh, <laughs> if I was doing anything more than this, I would have wanted something a little bit nicer, but it's actually been working quite well once I got it sorted out. Uh, these are the copper nails I used. So I basically just did everything else exactly as the, the guy in the video did. Um, and even that turns out that even when I was using a separate power supply for the solenoid control, it still, this battery still did not have enough power to do a proper weld. So I had to use this thing, which is just sort of an emergency car starting thing that you put across your battery terminals to help uh, jump start your car if you're stuck somewhere. Um, Probably wasn't ideal to be using that. It seemed to warm up a little bit after a while. Uh, it's okay now though, I think. But anyway, that managed 
to help me get through to the end of what I needed to do. So, yeah, go and watch that guy's video. He explains it very nicely. I just thought I might show you my version of this and also mention a couple of problems I had that I had to get past to, to get this done. Anyway, that's all. Bye.